So, I mean, what's it like for your mum? I mean, clearly she's a big part of your life. What, what, what does she make of the paparazzi following you like we just saw there and things like that? Um, of course, I, I assume it, it must hurt her sometimes and, and of course she's going to get upset seeing her, her son put in a way that kind of people know that are close to me that I'm not like that. But uh, something I'm, I just try and make her happy. She comes and watches every game I play and so that I play for her as well. So as long as I make her smile after the game, then it makes me happy. I mean, does, does she find it difficult, like picking up a paper or whatever and then saying things about her son? Yeah, I've got, I think anyone would. I think uh, what, what, what parent wouldn't yeah. feel upset and things like that, but so like, yeah, I, under, I, I can understand it, I've made mistakes. I've just got to live with it, but at the end of the day, I, mean, I just want to play football, I'm here to play football, and yeah. I just wish maybe people could judge me more on football and speak about football than, yeah. than I wouldn't say a private life, a life that mm. people don't really know. I mean, it's, it is unusual because when I first met you, I was like, how, how was LA? How did you enjoy your holiday? But it's like, well, how do I know about your life? I mean, you're being packed all over the place. Mm. Is that weird? Is that weird that people know about your life? Or have you just got used to it? No, of course, as I said, over the years, I've got used to it, but it is kind of strange when someone's telling you, oh, you're there, and you're like, <laughs> and you're like how do you know? And they're like, oh, I'll sit in the paper, and I was the beach, and things like that. So, of course, it is strange, but I said, this is, this is uh, the culture we live in now. People want to, people are interested in what you're doing on holiday and things like that. So, you have to just basically accept it now. But I said, I hope just people could drive me more on football. That's, that's what I'm here to do, is just play football. I mean, do you think sometimes you say you've made mistakes, but you haven't come out and addressed them? Has that been a problem? Like, for example, with this air rifle, so do you think because it was you, it was blown out of proportion? Oh, of course. I, I think uh, if someone actually see the incident, you, you would, like, of course not laugh because it was, it was a silly thing to do, but the whole, the whole situation was was crazy, it was of course an accident, but if I wanted to address every single thing that I see in the paper, I would just, I would lose my mind. It, it makes me crazy now, like, when I hear things, but I said, you just got to deal with it, and I said, I'm just here to play football, that's all I want to do, judge me on how I play football, and I said, or oh, judge me if you, if you come and meet me and speak to me. I think a lot of people judge people a little bit too quick without actually knowing the, the full facts or the actual real person. Yeah. I mean, with that air rifle thing, sorry to keep going on about it, but I guess people didn't know what your take was because we didn't hear from you. And uh, is that about being poorly advised by people or is... No, no, I, I get that. It was like... It was just a situation where it was basically dealt with. Yeah. So the, the, the guy was cool and things like that were dealt with so me and everyone else thought I didn't I don't need to come out and, and try to prove myself or, or say sorry to everyone else because I I said sorry to the boy that's the main thing it's not really a concern to anyone else so it's things like that of course we said it's so it's, it's the world we live in now and, and, and the football culture we live in now but sometimes it's hard sometimes it's but you have to take the good with the bad.